here. I'd like you to meet Andrew Kaufman of the Adobe Hotel. Hey, Kai, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Paul Conterna of Conterna Real Estate. Hey, it's a pleasure. Good to meet you. And Gustavo Frank of Los Poyos Romanos. How many times would they say I'm the smoothest? Truth is I never not moved this way. My trench coat leather, my shoes are suede. Biggie don't step on my pumas, babe. Walk ages in these trainers, but I ain't trip when they losing faith. You know I've been tested without a question why they on net doing Q and A. She say I'm a son of a gun, but really miss me like she's shooting strays. It's cool, it's great, but it's more fun when you use it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What is rain, man? Yeah. Oh. Oh my gosh. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll swap that. Get you a bigger one. Alright. I might be stuck. Can you pull this off my shoulder? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> no, yeah, I put my phone down, it just fell down my leg, bro. Bro. Put that shit on, twin. <laughs> this is new. So we walking through the warehouse right now. Basically, about to see how all the products get made. Like all of the protein powders, the pre-workouts, everything like that. So almost got hit. <laughs> Huh? It's like and chocolate he said, they look like Oompa She said it's like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and we feel like the Oompa Loompas right now. I, I, this is what I feel like if I got a beard. Would I look, would I look good with a beard? Big, like this? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> so we're about to, about to go through and see everything. But right now we just walking through. They said this warehouse like a million square feet. Nah, we're gonna get hella steps in today. It smelled like. What's it called? It smelled like fruity cereal, uh, impact whey protein. Cold swap. Hear that? <laughs> it's crazy because like you, you feel like you know how this shit get made and all this stuff until you get here and you actually see it. Like actually see it get made. Like you see like the raw materials and like the things mixing the protein and stuff, which is kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. We're back here with the raw materials and we can see all of the stuff that go into making all products. How many grams of protein you think is in this? <laughs> Man, don't touch nothing. You'll end, an eyelash gonna end up in somebody clear way isolate. <laughs> well, basically, this is like the conveyor. It's like an automated system, how they bottle the stuff and everything. Like these go to, here go the bottles. And then it come around. And I guess the stuff drop out from like over here, you know what I'm saying? And drop it in the bottles, basically. Oh, that's the label. And the label the box. That's the new product. If y'all ain't know, my protein origin pre workout series. That's that new stuff. Showing y'all real, some real BTS right now, bro. Some real BTS shit. Y'all seeing the real, what really go on before you put that scoop in your Gila Mix cold swole, you know what I'm saying? And put it in your mouth. <laughs> Y'all see how everything go down. Oh, contamination! <laughs> no flavor. They don't have that flavor. I was gonna say, yeah, that's new. They have different flavors yum, yum. here. Yeah. So basically, there's like, what I've heard of like what the NPC guys do is they'll change the flavoring based on the region. So like, US got, US people technically tend to like sweeter things. Yeah. The flavoring will be more towards that. Whereas, I think Neil said like the Netherlands or something. They This is going China. Okay. China I guess China like yogurt. Yogurt, yogurt, yeah. yeah. So I'm with Gert. We don't smell like that in the US. We don't smell yogurt like that in the US. How do you spell it? Spell it. Y O Y uh, there's no H. Yeah. Yeah, no H. Yeah, can you like it? Yogurt. Yogurt. hurt. I'm weak. We just learning. I ain't gonna lie. I'm trying to figure out how to make this most engaging for y'all. Cause y'all obviously not here. I'm not seeing what's going on. But y'all really getting BTS of just like what be going on before it gets to your house. Like how the products get made. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, y'all know it get made somewhere. But 
and I get to see it at least. They just, they just showed us a crazy collab that's coming out soon. I can't even show y'all what is something crazy. <laughs> Bro, what are you doing? She said she got a bad knee. She's trying to stay in the back. But yeah, bro, it was it's a crazy collab. Like you would not, not even expect nothing like that. But y'all stay tuned for that because that's coming soon. Bro, if y'all get your old ass, come on. Explain it to me one more time. We have it go through the X-ray. Yeah. This is the thermal. Uh, machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as you can see, the green light means it's good to go. Yeah. The red one means that it's not. Yeah. So the red light means it got your eyelash or your nail. <laughs> It me, it me, a stud off your nails, dropped into the, into the vitamins, and it's contaminated. Peep fit. All right, let me take this shit off. Bro, they got us going through TSA to get out. I'm weak. They never had us going through TSA, make sure you're not stealing nothing. So yeah, that was cool. We're heading to the headquarters now to do a couple more things. Then we got like product testing and some more stuff. That should be cool to take out through that part too. But we getting back in the car now after that. But that was cool. That one isn't isn't developed yet, but that is cherry. And you're supposed to take two scoops directly. So you take one, let it dissolve, swallow, and then take it again. And um, feel free to try it if you want to put some on your tongue if you want to have a go. Um, <laughs> Are you guys the first company to do that? I would say so. Yeah. When I saw a dry scoop up there, I was like, Yeah. Oh, heard, to yeah. Someone told me you guys were doing that. Three now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, instead of two. Okay. Yeah. So. Sorry. <laughs> I think it's just a little bit, bit. yeah, just to get the feeling. This is yeah. a good idea. It does. It, it, it like it dissolves. Yeah. Just let it sit. Yeah. And the. The, the, the individual likes them. That's fine. Uh, I'm not a chocolate person. No. Probably. Mm -hmm. Athletes over here. You can not. You can just have all. That one's the best. No, I'll say the banana's the best. You can find which gym. You walking over on? I feel like I ain't talked to y'all since we even got here to the fucking UK, bro. But like, we're in the THG headquarters right now. THG is a company that owns my protein, so we're like in the HQ. And we just got lunch. I got a little bit of steak, a little chicken, you know what I'm saying? Some asparagus, some potato wedges and stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the chicken first. We're gonna do that. Dip it in my little sauce. That's good. You get some dog chicken? Yeah. You didn't get chicken? No, I didn't even know that. Oh yeah, praying in here, by the way. I. By the way. But yeah, I'm running off the um, DJI today. Try the chicken. I'm trying to take a second. I just wanna enjoy my food <laughs> before you try to mess up my palate. We here, we in the UK though. Um, basically today, obviously we got brought up by my pro team. Basically today, um, we're about to just be touring a lot of their headquarters and stuff. Kind of the same thing I saw us do with Gymshark, but with my pro team. Thank you. And so today we're gonna we went to the production facility. We're showing y'all some of that. You know, a lot of people don't normally see you know where food production gets done. Like y'all see protein and y'all see the, everything on the shelves or maybe in a warehouse before it gets like shipped out or anything, but y'all don't normally see, you know what I'm saying, the actual production where it gets formulated. Y'all see the, the powders and the ingredients mixing together and things like that. So that was cool, cool to see. And, and then we now- We ensure y'all that y'all stuff is very well taken care yeah, of. Yeah, we can definitely ensure y'all that y'all stuff is well taken care of. Like they, they what okay. the procedure to get in there, you cannot get in there with, with just walking off the street. No, bro, you gotta decontaminate, take your clothes off. No lashes, no uh, no nails, no jewelry, no phones, no camera, no hair, no black people. No, <laughs> bro, the, the, hey, the amount of rules they had in there was crazy. But now we're on their second um, second building, basically. The second building is like a studio where they do a lot of like shoots and stuff. They have other companies come in and they do like use the space to get like shoots. She said they had like Lego in here. They had a couple other brands in here that was using the space to shoot and stuff and now we're in like the the headquarter office where they got obviously the cafeteria and now we're eating and stuff like that but we met with um what what's the name what was his name again paul we met with paul earlier he was the one that's over 
I forgot what he what he's over, but we tried some products in there, some new products and stuff. Stuff we can't show y'all, some stuff we can show y'all. But we tried some new products and everything like that. A lot of collabs just on the way and everything. But honestly, like, it's just a cool experience to be here and see, like, the behind the scenes of, like, what really goes down in, these, in the companies and everything. Because, like, like I said, y'all see sometimes, like, big warehouses and y'all see companies doing things here and there. But, like, this is, like, it's another level. It's another level. Like, a campus with three buildings and things like that just to show you, like, how stuff gets prepared like you see the amount of people in here that's kind of just goes to show you how much stuff really be getting down because my protein is like a huge company you know what i'm saying it's a huge company it ain't a houston based locality you know what i'm saying this is a international company you feel me so it's cool so far so good they've been good I'm about to just see you know what else we can get into today i think after this we're about to go sit down with the um the global head of like talent basically i'm gonna talk to him about a bunch of stuff, I guess. And then we're gonna go to the gym and take out there too. But shit should be good, bro. Just like going with the flow, having a good day. Why are you just looking at me like that? You're like, damn, man. Sweet. You didn't talk and chew with it. Why are you talking shit? I'm not. I'm just helping the people out. Look at her. See that? I've enjoyed myself. Look at the mic. You need a mic? I got you. Go ahead, tell them, tell them what you got to say, all right? She got a lot to say, or so she say. I'm not going to say it to them. I'm going to say it to the people that are in charge so they can hear what I have to say. As a woman of color, as an athlete, as, you know, someone that really takes pride in her work in the gym, you know, there, I, I always like to put my input and I like to see a change, so sometimes you have to be the change. You have to know who to tell. Like, X, Y, Z, got some nice hair. Focus. My bad. <laughs> Very anxious, but um, yeah, so I always, any company that I ever work with, that's why when people tell me things like on my social media page, one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna relay it that's to real. who's in charge. I literally tell the C, Excuse me. The CEO, CFO, the top like top people at Gymshark. This is what we need. We need representation. We need more black people. We need more women that you know look like me or look like this or whatever. Like I'm gonna be the like I'm gonna tell them. I'm gonna keep it a B. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'm gonna be like this is what it is. This is what it looks like. This is what y'all doing wrong. This is what the people want. So I'm gonna do the same thing here if I'm able. I know we're still very new with my protein, but yeah. one thing I'm gonna do is like I'm gonna say, yo, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm like, this is this. Um, maybe it might be my personal opinion, but there's enough people that can back me up on my opinion that maybe there needs to be a little bit of change. So that's all I gotta say. Um, this broccoli nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the mic. Give me the mic. Oh my gosh. But yeah, bro, like she said, she's right. Like when it comes to these different companies and everything, we're here to give our input as one, consumers of the brand, and two, like athletes of the brand. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't want to be scared to, you know, tell somebody. No, like that's what I'm saying. It's, it's for y'all to like make sure that the people that are actually consuming the brand, which is y'all, which is us. You know what I'm saying? What? I said the people them. The people them. The people that's actually consuming the brand. Y'all getting what y'all like, what y'all want. You feel me? Like y'all getting products that's good. Y'all getting things that are, you know, you can actually consume. Cause you don't. We don't want to promote some stuff to you that's just say I can use a code and fill our pockets, and then y'all get some protein powder. Y'all be like, what did I buy this for? You know what I'm saying? So like, that's why we said we gonna come here and. Give our true opinion on everything. Granted, we got different taste buds than, than people in the UK because you know in the US they're able to get away with a lot more stuff. Like we're talking to them today, and they was like, yo, like in the US basically, they allowed to put this and this and that and that in their products that they can't do in the UK. And you then granted it's a UK company, so like you gotta adhere to certain rules and things like that, which we understand, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, like make it work, you feel me? And we're gonna try to make some shit, make some shit work. And we're gonna tell them, you know, our opinion and everything. And hopefully. We get some good shit for y'all, but the product tasting was cool. Just being able to see some like unreleased things and stuff like that. They got some good collabs coming on the way that I can't really tell y'all about, but you know what I'm saying? Got some good collabs and stuff. So it's good to see the brand doing some big things and good to, you know what I'm saying, be here and be a part of it. So I'm about to finish this food up and this is who we'll get into next. Right now, we're literally at this like My Protein Country Club, which is kind of crazy. They got like a whole kitchen and stuff going on right here. And then like, a little restaurant. We're about to go upstairs to try out the gym because they literally have a whole brand new gym upstairs. Bro, look at this. Like, I'm coming upstairs and they got this whole gym. I hope y'all can hear me with the music and everything, but I see like my protein on the wall. It's a whole techno gym suite, so it's pretty cool. And they got like the my protein, what's it called? Like 
ad playing, you know what I'm saying, on the screens, on the gym and everything. Like, this is hard, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like, this, this it's pretty tough. Uh, we, we were gonna train here, but I feel like we're not going to anymore just because uh, Crane needs some like weights and everything. But I still wanted to show y'all the gym like while we were here. So if y'all can see like everything, it's pretty nice, bro. Like, it's pretty nice. The lighting in here is pretty decent. I hope y'all can see that. I got the camera on auto right now, so I ain't really trying to mess with no settings or nothing like that, but take y'all to the dumbbells. Dumbbells got branded, you know what I'm saying? As y'all can see, my protein branded on the dumbbell. Hold on, let me get one that's upright. You see what I'm saying? My protein branded on the dumbbells. And yeah, like, it's pretty cool. Outside, too, like, they got a whole, like, let me take it up here, because they got something else, but. Golf course outside like a mini golf but they also have like a regular golf one up there too y'all know like the weather here is absolutely ridiculous but <laughs> let me take y'all upstairs real quick too so y'all can see the spot i don't really like there's people up there so i don't really want to like take y'all up there and then y'all see like you know what i'm saying like people shirtless or people swimming in the pool and stuff so let me go up there and see but we're gonna see what i can show y'all um we just did some like content and stuff. I'm gonna drop some clips of it in there to see, to sort of show y'all like what we've been doing and everything. But did some content and stuff, and that was pretty cool, just for like social media and stuff. But hold on, I'm about to go in up there, and we're gonna see. Yeah, never mind. There's people up there in their bathing and stuff. I ain't trying to invade no privacy. Just know it's a spa up there too. But yeah, bro, it's like a whole country club the vibe that they got going on. And you can see it's like the gym right here. The country club upstairs, I mean the, the spa upstairs. Let me go back downstairs. And then we got the kitchen, the restaurant, and everything. It's just cool vibe. Hail Country Club and Spa. Of my protein THG experience. But we're about to head to another gym now. Get a workout in. Instead of going down this way, yeah. we ended up going through the entire building. <laughs> apparently, yeah, apparently there's a gym here. So and then we went all the way down and around. There was some like tough security yeah. thing. Up like, Hi, you're on. I was like, pitch <laughs> black, and then it said it. The Squid Games voice just came out of. Fuck. No, straight <laughs> up. No, nah, you never would have thought it was a gym back here. Oh. Unless, is it that door right there? Yeah. This looks like a hip, like, you know, those like, like Illuminati, like you like go in some random building, <laughs> and like you go, you walk through a secret passage, and it's like a whole area. <laughs> That's what, yeah. <laughs> but, 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 all right, hey, can't, can't say that. You can't, can't say that. Can't say that. Wait, what did he say? <laughs> the the, the <laughs> name. Look in there. Oh, okay. You can see it through there. This is weird. No, this is pretty crazy. Wait. What's the the keypad? Is there a? Nah, you just got a buzz in. Hello, sir. All right. Hey. Oh, we got it. Look at this. <laughs> oh no, this is hard though. Thank you. I ain't gonna lie. Thank you. No, this is. I ain't gonna lie. This this is pretty hard. How you doing? Some guest passes today. Thank you. Oh snap, I'm stuck. <laughs> my bad, my bad. That's a tripod, my bad. Oh my god. <laughs> that, all right, let's see what this gym's talking about. This is pretty decent, though. This is pretty decent. People are like, bro, Americans are dumb. I swear. Nah, this is pretty decent, though. This is the, the British zoo culture, for real. But we got, what's it called? We got back and biceps and stuff today, so it should be pretty decent. I don't know why they keep the fucking, the doors open at every gym here, bro. It'd be so cold, bro. Bro, the gym would be so cold here. Like, the training up, man. Oh, I mean, oh yeah, you're gonna be cold. Yeah, you're gonna be cold. This is the only deadlift platform they got. And it's in the rain. <laughs> That's kinda tough, honestly. I fucking this. Alright. Hey, let's 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 see what it do. Alright y'all, so we're about to hit a little back and bicep day today. We're here with Evan. You know what I'm saying? So first time on the vlog, so I wanna introduce him to him. He's been here with well, can I even say that? Uh, yeah, you can say it. <laughs> we'll find out. You're good. Yeah, we're here with my protein and stuff, so we're about to get it in, man. First time here. They were here yesterday, said so the gym was cool, so they brought us out this time. It's like, might as well get it in, man. So we're going to see what uh, what today looks like. So let's get it to it. Let's do it, bro. Let's do it.
Gucci in my Gucci man bag And I still wear Louis and Louis M got a stick like Grandad Bro, bro, bro tap like Stewie Man. Make sure my skills on point Turn them on then off Cells and joints Maximum prof Soft Turn it rock in a pop Stepped in looking all fly High like digs how you do that Hear the sound if I ring this burner Loud like the pitch in New Camp I think Broski scored that winner They ain't got a lot of time left on She a Coco 1 vanilla Cool you ain't gotta be shy it's long It's healthy look at the scale Think LV grab on my belt She just wanna plait my hair I let her do that cause she patterns it well I'm still there managing cells Gotta get rid of this package by 12 Come a long way from travelling cells This time last year sat up in Feltz Serving I get too trappy bro That's as soon as I wake up Wait that's a free bro tracky Baby a minor makeup I done gel with bro bro And we still got all of them nickings Patty said I don't want beef Caught him on the wing that boy turned chicken This one think she's boo Stop telling my friends your wifey And everything I'm wearing is new Nothing worn twice, even my Nikes Peng Flake got TT Trap get paid straight off EE Peng Flake got TT Trap get paid straight off EE Thing up, one, two, five, I'm revving Grinding a track here, 97s I ain't had lunch, come my line keeps belling Them gal blush anytime we stepping One hand in my glove Money on me, bro, good, that's love Low six shots in the snub is a seesaw thing when the kickback jumps Took five years gone, quick setback I was 13, white gold on my neck back We well, you know about sitting in the cell hand Digging through shit just to get your tech back My paper plane got me jet lagged Old school, I was going halves in a 10 bag Shit then should have dodged that fed van Walk with a ting on the wing in my neck bag Still blow am not cheese or cess fam Had no canteen, that's red stamp So just leave me a text on the live car Soon come PCX, I'm a rider Hit a so quick, tens and a fiver Ruby helmet, pull up my visor Ring shorty, do it all night or Lock to the toolie, he ain't no fighter Pack in my Gucci man bag And I still wear Louis and Louis M got a stick like Grandad Bro, bro, bro tap like Stewie Make sure my skills on point Turn them on then off Cells and joints Maximum prof Soft Turn it rock in a pop Stepped in looking all fly High like digs how you do that Hear the sound if I ring this burner Loud like the pitch in New Camp I think Broski scored that winner They ain't got a lot of time left on She a Coco 1 vanilla Cool you ain't gotta be shy it's long Cause man talk about pressure, I don't feel pressure nope. Send a text on the trap line, give out some testers <laughs> Then back to my leisure yeah. I got bro to the end car, that's my brother That's my brother, that's my brother Jenna. I ain't got no gun, but if I cop that dots, bury it like treasure yeah. Ay, Born in the east side, could have been a daily offender Crazy extender, yeah. might see me in the west with the gunners Or see me with K, he like Arsene Wenger sure. Big spender, thought he was a spender Done all the spending, the spending stop I Think like you the man, come to the block Can't take out your chain when your shit get popped No, I can't really rock on my block I hit so many shots on my block Block. I sit my henny, don't need the walk. Got cats like Wonder Mad for the rock. Pressure. Ain't been around for a while, but it's calm, cause the crowd go mad when I enter. Still break down bricks like Jenga. No art can't really rock on my block. I hit so many shots on my block. I sit my henny, don't need the walk. Got cats like Wonder Mad for the rock. Pressure. Ain't been around for a while, but it's calm, cause the crowd go mad when I enter. Still break down bricks like Jenga. Hey, cats keep calling my phone, man, leave me alone, I'm grinding I woke up this morning smiling, haters trying to bring me down, I don't know why Niggas out here still in the floor, trying to keep it on the low, thought they did it on the sly Stepped in the function with a bottle of Henny and the Crow, and I did it for the vibe Push back and I did it with the guys, done it with the green, bro, did it with the rice Done it with the text, bro, done it with the rest, sold everyone a dream, and I did it with a lie Little man, you don't wanna live this life, outside with your kitchen knife Talk things get hot on the block and this shit goes left, all you need is advice How's man talk about pressure? I don't feel pressure Send a text on the trap line, give out some testers Then back to my leisure I got bro to the end card, that's my brother That's my brother, that's my brother Yo, um, this gym has been absolutely amazing The pump was crazy I don't know what it was, if it was the British food But, yo, I, I wish I could come back to this gym again Maybe I will one day You ever see a garage door that just opens like this? The deadlift? I don't know um, Yeah, all in all, great gym here Yeah Solid workout, bro. Like, I don't even think we intended to like go that hard off like no food and just kind of just get in here. But no, nah, it was a good workout. Yeah, zero carbs in my system, but <laughs> that pump was gone real yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah, but no, nah, it was good. The gym is fire too. Like, it's probably the best spot we've been to since we've been here. For sure. So man. glad we came and tried it out. Like, this shit was fire. But yeah, good workout, bro. Yeah, and like, dude, <laughs> I go lie. This it was an actually really decent gym for what we found here in Manchester so far. It's probably like the best gym that we've been to so far. So I'm gonna do a review of it on TikTok and everything. And hopefully y'all seen by the workout and the footage that it came out really well. But like, this is a really nice gym. Like, really nice gym. Hexagon lights, Panada equipment, 
prime equipment, arsenal equipment, hosing room and everything. I want to go in there, but I know they got like hosing lessons right now. But nah, it's, it's been great. It's been crazy. So we're on the University of Manchester now. And now it's, it's crazy because it's like the campus is literally just the city. But now we're doing YouTube interviews. We're just going to get a little post-workout food. So we ended up down here at the University of Manchester. We walk into Archie's. It's crazy because, like I told y'all before, last time we was in the UK, I couldn't eat at all. But this this time, we have space to eat because I'm not on prep. So, so far, <laughs> the food is uh, not appealing. But, you know, we got to do what we got to do. This is a very nice campus, though. This reminds me of KU, kind of. KU? Yeah. Did you go to KU? This reminds me of KU. My dad used to bring his food truck to uh, Mass oh, Street. Oh, yeah, you did tell me that. That's really how you know it's a college campus. They got a whole insomnia. Okay. That's how you know you on campus. They had like a five guys back there, too. But they they out here in like, bro, they out here in like uniforms. It's cold as fuck out here. They Girls got skirts on and shit. How they do? I could never. <laughs> I, mean, I never. don't want to see you in a skirt. <laughs> back at Archie's. I promise you this one of like the hardest burger spots I've ever seen, bro. Like the whole pink just Barbie aesthetic. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this shit. For a burger spot. You would have never thought whole fucking pink uh pink train car. <laughs> like this is hard. One thing I will say, like out of the places that we've been to, they all got a pretty decent aesthetic. Like when it's good, it's good. Bad, it's bad. But this in the U.S., I feel like this would pop. But this should look crazy. We're about to see what we get. Like a burger shake, maybe. Pink panta. Sorry. <laughs> it's funny because they got good burger sauce, and I bet you it's probably pink. And they got pink mayo. But we ordered what's it called? We got some burgers, chicken sandwiches, pink lemonade, some other stuff. So when it come out, I'm gonna show what it look like. All right. So we got our food. Archie's Pink Lemonade. What's this? Uh, cookies and cream shake. Cookies and cream. But bro, look at everything's. What would you think this is? It's ketchup. Everything is pink, bro. Even the barbecue sauce is pink. What? If, what if the barbecue sauce is pink? That'd be crazy. But we're healthy. What we got? Way to make me feel bad about myself. Curly fries with peri peri sauce. That's fine. Double burger, turkey bacon, barbecue sauce, and spicy chicken sandwich. Let's do it. A few moments later. Yeah, um, that shit wasn't even good for real. It was all right. I guess I guess you could say it was cool. Um, but yeah, rate one out of ten. I don't know, probably like a. You've been recording this whole time. No. Oh, it's like. No, uh, rate one out of ten, probably like a four and a half, maybe. Uh, yeah, uh, try it out if you want. Um, I'm lying, that shit was good as fuck. That was the most, like, passive aggressive review I've ever Yeah, yeah, I was capping. <laughs> Pero es por fumar, le gusta que la graben desde el celular, como una estrella de porno, en el tubo la pongo a bailar. No existe un no, con ella todos son sí, me llama tarde, dice que quiere venir, se me hace la difícil, difícil de resistir, me enamoré cuando se me trepó y me puso ese burro a aplaudir. Te amo ya Encima de mí como Dios te trajo Tu novio no te hace un carajo Prende de la seta que en tu lado Te a bailar Te mojaste cuando te rocé Te ven y te quiero darte otra vez Natural si lo usas por el cosé Te mone a bailar Con tu carita angelical Cuando ir pa' tu casa quiero fornicar Hoy los vecinos te oyen gritar Ese tostito te va pa' el pital Cuando los panties te piensas quitar No te me vayas a quitar Si tengo una amiga la puedo invitar we just made it to Valencia, Spain. <laughs> it's kind of all over the place where we got going on right now, but the event that we actually came for, the My Protein Origin event for the release of the new like pre-workout and everything is in Spain. So we caught a flight, came to Spain. It's actually my second time in Valencia because when I studied abroad in Italy, I came here for like a little weekend, took this train here for like three days. 
and experienced a little bit of it, but it's my first time like being here and actually being able to get around because when I studied abroad, I was broke and in school and didn't know where I was going. But now here with my protein and you know say so we can do a little bit more. So excited to see, you know, what the event and everything entails. We got dinner literally in like thirty minutes. So we've been traveling all since seven AM, bro. And it's like what, it's like seven PM right now? Uh, so yeah. Yeah, we've been traveling all day. But this is actually like our next stop on, you know, our little world takeover damn near because we still trying to figure out where we plan to go after um Valencia. And it may end up being over because we overwhelmed right now. <laughs> but we about to change and get ready for this dinner. But I'm going to take y'all around because I got this little uh little camera on me to show everything we got. But we got, um what's it called? Some clothes from my protein. Obviously, we can't wear this, you know what I'm saying? Because it's my protein branded athletic wear and stuff. But, you know what I'm saying? We keep that big shark on us. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. About to get changed up now and then go to this dinner. Should be good. Finally seeing everybody. Seeing a bunch of the team. James and Nathaniel's here. And it's going to be cool. So, yeah. Should be a good time. While well, we acting like we've never seen fish before. That's a big ass fish. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Man. So we made it to dinner. As y'all can see, the fit some normal. All Saints on the tee and stuff. But everybody's pulling up now. We got like a big tent, but it's really nobody here. So um as y'all yeah, the whole place was empty. So hey, we'll see. Hello there. Hi. Bienvenido a la España. ¿Cómo está? Uh, bien y tú? Eh, muy bien. Muy bien. Y... Huh? It's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. It gets the job done. I'm yeah. seeing a little power. Push it um, twice to like recenter. Which one? The no, no, like joystick, yeah. Oh, Matt. Yeah. The quality does look pretty Crazy. decent. Yeah, but I think Do it three times and like... Show is, it, is it fisheye? Is it fisheye? Oh, Matt. Yeah. We got selfie mode. That's yeah. really That's good sick, quality. Bro. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh, that, was... that is so yeah. I was cool. I was expecting like GoPro quality. No, it's like... It's shoot like 4K60. Can you do... Can you change like whether it's fisheye or not fisheye? Yeah, you can zoom. And how do... Bro, so do you switch it to portrait by switching... Turning the screen? Yeah. Why is it not switch? Oh, this is recording. Yeah. Oh, make a map. He said in Spanish. Yum. <laughs> Dinner was nice. We got a uh, British chef Yo, here, so you know, we're going outside a little bit tonight. He, he enticed us to go outside, so we had this. What is this? Some like, casino. <laughs> <laughs> so go, bro. It's a, the Joker, you know. So we're gonna see what it's like. Do we what? How we get in? Oh. We're about to see. <laughs> oh. This is uh, interesting, to say the least. Yeah, that was a uh, failure. failure. Yeah. Um. We tried. We both didn't have our physical IDs, so we kind of... looks about 50 anyway. Brother, I look, I, wait, wait, ask your vlog, ask your vlog. Yeah, yeah. Look older. The guy that's jacked and has a full beard, or <laughs> this guy? skinny guy. <laughs> 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 That's funny. No, I'm pretty sure they're gonna say you look older. Yeah. <laughs> what you think he looks older? Yeah, 100%. It's the, beard. the beard, right? Okay. But I looked older before I had the beard. Bro, you remember yeah, when I had the beard? Bro, bro, you, yeah, bro. You look like like you could be like 19. Yeah. Valid, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly that. Yeah. But some people say I look 26. Someone said yeah, I thought he looks 26. 26? Yeah. 26. Yeah. 26. Yeah. Absolutely not. He could not. pull it off. I no. I feel like you're going off his. Six is. Nah, that's right. Yeah. Make a straight face. I think you can you can pull a twenty six. When, he, I can when pull he pulls a, a straight face, he looks way older. I, I'll give you I'll give you twenty two at that. Man. Yeah. Yeah. How, how do you smile? When he smiles, he's oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the that's the young. That's the young, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we went back. Oh my god, it's just there. It is, yeah, it's across the street. We went back to the hotel because yeah, uh, what's it called? Casino didn't work out. So we go into this bar. It's literally across the street. But y'all know, we just going for the vibes. You know what I'm saying? We came out in our all black. You good, you good over there? You excited? I can tell. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> no. But we about to walk in there and see what it's talking about. What time is it open to? Oh. It's probably late. Oh, my. It doesn't. No, no, no. no it doesn't look good. Watch out. It doesn't look good. Yo, let's get out of the road. 
we just got there and Joe's like, Nathaniel, I think we should do your option. No, just because like, this is outskirts, isn't it? Like, it's not. What? What? Are we just, so we're like, moving. I think, dude, I don't know. I guess we're going somewhere else. Never mind, we're going back. <laughs> he has been alone all day. Bro, he literally. I ain't gonna lie, yeah, you ain't missed much. You ain't missed much. But, bro, he literally got unbooked from his flight to go somewhere else. Oh, wait, hold on. Bouncer at the door, hold on. No, nunca español. No, no habla español. Vale, vamos a. Thank you, thank you. All right, I'm walking out. Now. Hey, I don't know. It's kind of a vibe, though. Hold on. Hold on, now. Nah, they teen in here though. <laughs> it's literally like somebody's apartment, bro. <laughs> it's an apartment with a bar. <laughs> so this is what it looks like when a bunch of um, foreigners, I guess you would say, <laughs> um, go out at night. So let's let the chronicles begin. <laughs> I guess so. This no, little camera is a cheat code. I'm telling it's, you. It's still early. Eleven o'clock. Ain't it? No, twelve. Yeah. Hold on, let me get I it on you. For you. You like it? All right, guys. So, welcome to my vlog. Uh huh. Um, we are in Valencia. Valencia. Uh, and Valencia, Spain. You know what? It's so fucking bad. Espana. Yeah, Spain. I'm fucking huh? Of all those places, bro. Oh, okay, we taking a picture. In Utah, like <laughs> five days ago. Oh. Wait, we weren't oh, in. There it is. I was mewing. How do I look? I was vlog. I went yelling the picture. Is it bad? Bro, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, why are you getting on to it? Let me get the shot. Oh, we. This is what it Bro, Valencia architecture is pretty crazy, though. I ain't gonna lie. Like, this. This is pretty crazy. Like, it's, it's crazier because. Like, I was here, like, a couple years ago and saw it. Like, this in the daytime looks crazy. The water is just, like, blue. I did a whole, like, bike tour of it. And people was, like, people was riding a little, like, bikes on the water and stuff. It was cool. But right now, we kind of just seeing the vibes. Wait, wait, hold on. Look at that shit. Right now? Right now? I don't, you gonna... um, I don't think you hit the water. I, I think you hit the yeah, bottom. Maybe this like, is crazy. Uh, it's not water. It's, yeah, it's shallow though. It's short. Don't jump. What is bro doing? I'm doing you do it. Oh, the test? <laughs> See how far it goes? After the water test. How much shit rippled, y'all? Yeah. <laughs> bro. <laughs> Oh, damn. 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 <laughs> bro. Bro. Oh, my gosh. Uh, so, we've been walking for 20 this minutes now. Okay. Oh, never mind. We found it. <laughs> I was about to say, here it is. The bot. All right. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's see what, let's see what's about. And this is the vibe. So, we're leaving now. It was a nice vibe. We really just talked for like a good what like two hours almost it's like 2 a.m right now but getting in a little taxi outside of the hookah base I would hate to have to like, oh my god like like... no, be um... y'all can't even see me right now bro. <laughs> you black bro all right <laughs> <laughs> all right so i can see we got the bonnet on and stuff because we're getting ready for the night but i just want to let y'all know that tomorrow is the actual day of the event it should be cool bro it's our first like event with my protein it's like an origin event basically it's kind of like a lifting event like we be having with Gymshark, but basically with my protein. So it's going to be our first kind of event with them just to kind of see how everything looks and everything. And basically kind of just like get a taste for the community out here in the UK. But granted, this is in Spain. So it's going to be a lot of Spanish speaking people. It's going to be a lot of like people that don't really know who we are. But it's going to be definitely a good taste to like get out in front of the international crowd and everything like that. So it should be exciting. I know I didn't really say much about it, but y'all know this is kind of like a trip where we going all over the place. So might as well fail in on what we got going on. So tomorrow's going to be good. Uh, good. We're going to be up like semi early, get to the event space, probably lift. Do a little uh, bit of content stuff and then go into the actual event. And then after that, we're probably going to end this one off because just um, we got a lot more planned depending on what 
what, where, are we going to go somewhere or not? Yeah, probably. All right. So basically what happened is we have extended our trip out here until April 5th. Okay. But <laughs> we haven't picked where we want to go yet. So it's kind of hard because we're trying to figure out where all oh, we want to go and everything like that. But we don't have anything planned, like literally nothing planned, nothing booked, nothing like that. So we're trying to figure out if this is going to be like where we're going to go. If we go to like somewhere close, like a Barcelona and go back to Manchester and, and some, like go to London or something like that. Or go more exotic, go to like a Greece, go to a Mallorca or like a Canary Island, something like that. So we're trying to figure out like what we, what we plan to do. But obviously we're going to take y'all through that as well. So tomorrow, got the event. See y'all there. hasta el momento, así que estamos muy emocionados de poder hacerlo aquí en casa con nuestro, nuestros invitados especiales que ¡Woo! no creo que necesiten introducción, pero con todos ustedes Joan Pradel y Andoni Talledo. Gracias. Es, es, está muy guay, ¿vale? A mí este me flipa, que personalmente yo me quedé muy loco cuando me lo presentaron, que te lo puedes tomar como pues, dry, en plan te lo puedes tomar sin agua, justamente, yo lo anuncio, lo anuncio este también en este. Sí. Vale, pues eh, te lo puedes tomar sin agua, si lo queréis probar ahora y llevarlo, pues probar, te lo echas a la boca y realmente lo muerdas y... La prueba más, Tres, dos, uno. Oh, Dios. Oh. Ahí tenés la prueba. Venga. Vamos. Damn. Sorry. It's my honor and a privilege to introduce you to John Cena. We're currently at the My Protein Origin event. As y'all can see, we got the Origin stuff all over the place. Like I told y'all about yesterday, the banners and everything. Honestly, this is cool, bro. This has been a good vibe, honestly. Like, to be out here, you know what I'm saying? They introduced us in front of the Spain crowd and everything. I don't even know if y'all can hear me, bro. But like, it's been a vibe, bro. But like, this is cool, bro. The gym is fire. I took y'all around a little bit of the gym earlier, but like, the gym is fire. We got a good workout in. And now we're about to go get some food, but like, the event, it's cool. It's cool. It's a different vibe, a different crowd out here for show. But like, as an American being experienced, like what the fitness culture is in Spain, this is it's, it's cool. I ain't gonna lie. I fuck with it. It makes me want to like expand and like add more of a community. Yeah, bro. Like they and they love they it. they love they people over here, bro. So it's it's fun to see. It's good to see. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on, you're almost there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Beat it by one. I don't think I gave y'all like a full gym tour yet. So we about to walk around real quick and so I can show y'all everything this gym got to offer, bro. Like over here, got a little deadlift platform. So that's where everybody was earlier. Like doing the deadlift and stuff, like Kilo Place and everything. The little pink uh, neon on the sign. Come over here, we got all the dumbbells, more ways, free ways over here. But the cool thing about it is like, before we even get to the outside part, like basically it's all upper body over here and then it's all lower body over here. So over here you got all the cardio, all the leg equipment, the leg machines, uh, another Smith machine, like some more upper body equipment, some other machines, everything like that. 
but this part right here the cardio overlook the outside <laughs> and this is part this is where it get crazy you know what i'm saying because like we come outside it's a whole second gym outside and it's crazier because like bro the the equipment outside damn near better than equipment on the inside like <laughs> they got a whole second gym out here out here got panada got prime got arsenal all kind of stuff hold on yeah why it get so dark all of a sudden hold on Boom, got it. Yeah. You mind if you take a photo? Yeah, got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. Supporter love, it's insane, all the way in Spain. We get back to the gym review right quick, you know what I'm saying? We got all this equipment out here. I knew, or, uh, I'm saying they all got their own set of dumbbells, cables, like all the way over here, squat racks. It's basically like the same thing as like a, um, what's it called? Like a indoor gym, outdoor gym, kind of like an Alpha Land type of vibe, but it's different because it's Spain, you know what I'm saying? So like over here, even more equipment more equipment it's like right beside the road so you can see outside but like bro this shit is crazy like this is crazy bro i'm squeezing through equipment and stuff but like come all the way over here this is where we was training earlier they got more equipment all of this stuff i know you're probably not gonna be able to hear me with the music but like a whole turf area a boxing ring at the top bro like a whole like everything bro this shit is crazy like a whole like crossfit area with bumper plates you come over here you got heavy bags speed bags all kind of stuff a full boxing uh boxing ring but it's like it's crazy because like you know out here they said in valencia only rain like three times or four times a year so like they can have all this stuff outside and not have to worry about it because it's not gonna rain out here you know what i'm saying but like it's crazy bro it's really crazy like what this gym look like especially for being in spain like this is one of them things like you put probably never gonna see something like this because i didn't even know what this gym was called bro you know what i'm saying like i didn't even know something like this out here but we really just out here just experiencing and seeing everything and it's just been cool bro but like i always heard that um what's it called gyms overseas was a lot better than gyms in the u.s because the equipment is better and everything but like seeing i see i remember i told you i trained in italy and you was able, i was able to see it but like here it's just crazy great it's a nice ass gym bro like I'm, I'm i'm giving it a gym review on my tiktok and everything but just look at it bro like bro like just look at this this is insane all right we got the deadlift championship they tied for second place so <laughs> What, are they going one at a time? Oh, okay. How many was that? So uh, our trip ended short. As y'all can tell, we are back at home. Uh, we were supposed to extend our trip up until like April 5th, bro. We were supposed to like travel around Europe and everything. But the weather, bro, the weather in Europe is right now is like not good at all. Like why, we were trying to think like, why should we spend the extra money to stay out there even longer when the weather's better in Houston? Like y'all see, y'all see the weather in Houston right now. The weather's great. You know what I'm saying? Like why would we spend even more money and more time overseas, like seeing things that we could see another time? 
when the weather's not that great. So I know I was telling y'all right before we get to the actual event, like what our plan was, but as y'all can see, like we're back at home, you know what I'm saying? But just a debrief on the event a little bit and just the entire trip, bro. Like it was fun. It was fun to be out there with my protein. It was fun to be out there and finally see, you know, what my protein has to offer in like the global scale, you know? Cause you don't want to get caught up in like these brands that are only operate domestically if that makes sense and for all the aspiring creators and aspiring influencers out there like you want to like look beyond you know what I'm saying what you can immediately see and that's what I feel like we are doing with my protein bro because going over there and seeing the impact and the you know just the the reach that they have internationally bro like it's crazy and it's the same thing with like Gymshark you know what I'm saying because both of these brands are UK based brands headquartered in UK you know what I'm saying and it's like crazy to see how, what they're able to do is across, like we did a whole event in Spain and people were coming up to us saying like, yo, I want to follow you, follow your journey because you're big. And other people were saying like, yo, I follow with your content. Like I've seen you before. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy just to see one, how far our reach is growing. You know what I'm saying? At the pace that we're growing to be able to go to an event in Spain and somebody knows who you are. You know what I'm saying? We, at first we thought like in the UK it was going to be huge, but now like going to Spain and having that same type of effect, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, like seeing, you know, what's outside of what you can normally see as like, you yourself within a brand if that makes sense you know and like crane and i've always talked about this and like i want to like tell my aspiring creators and everything out there to like you got to be able to look beyond what you can immediately see you know what i'm saying a lot of people see these brands here and they see what's popping like in the u.s and then they forget about how big the global stage is bro so like growing your brand internationally that's that shit right there is like <laughs> That's just phenomenal, bro. Just to be able to like go somewhere else across the across the pond, you know, and be recognized and, and be uh, adored and, and you know be appreciated over there. So like that was cool, bro. That was cool. First event with my protein, man. We got a lot of big stuff coming here in the U.S. soon. So y'all definitely stay tuned for that, man. But it's it's okay because we're gonna be back in um in Europe in June because you know Crane competing in worlds, you know what I'm saying. So we about to be back over there in June. But we just kind of it's like the weather over there, like. It's, it's funny because, bro, did you know, like, the UK was ranked the second most miserable country in the world, bro? <laughs> like, the weather over there literally every single day was absolutely horrible, bro. And, like, just, just, it's not even about the UK. It's about extending our trip. You know what I'm saying? Because we're going to extend our trip to go see a lot of other places in uh, Europe in general. Like, we're going to go to Barcelona. We want to go to Greece. You know what I'm saying? We want to go to some other big places out there. And it's just, like, it wasn't worth it to do it right now because we know we're going to go back in June. And in June, it's, like, summertime. The weather's going to be great. But, like, why? We're not about to go sit on a beach at 70 degrees and, and raining at 53. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wouldn't make sense. So we're going to be back soon. We're going to be back soon. But as y'all can see, we are back in Houston, man. We had to cut the trip short. I wanted to come debrief with y'all because I know that last video was, like, all over the place, bro. Like, it was literally, like, we got there, touched down, pulled up to a warehouse, you know what I'm saying, and seen everything in there. And then right after that, it's like, we testing flavors. Now we in Spain. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot back to back to back. But it was kind of just I wanted to just show y'all, you know, what we had going on. It wasn't really to – I wasn't really trying to make – content in a sense but kind of just experience but i wanted to like show y'all my experience throughout the whole thing if that makes sense so yeah man back in houston bro and what's what's next where are we going next nowhere, nowhere? yeah we're gonna be good we're gonna have to be like set for a minute like set down for a minute your birthday's coming up but we have we're gonna have to celebrate it <laughs> what we'll domestically celebrate. yeah yeah my birthday we'll coming up in my birthday's coming up in may and we're gonna have to celebrate it uh domestically because we are gonna be still here you know what i'm saying but yeah man like i was saying uh we're probably not gonna be going nowhere no time soon just because um crane and competing soon and we're gonna be um like she's gonna be locked in for her prep and i'm gonna be getting on prep again soon because i want to be competing maybe at the end of the year you know what i'm saying i ain't said too much about that but that's something that may be coming real soon you know so yeah man with that being said bro i hope y'all enjoyed this video i hope y'all appreciate this video and everything and yeah man i'll see you on the next one